I'm officially dubbing this project Project Nightmare. <laughs> So I hesitate to call this a build series, but we're gonna get the bike on the lift today and we're gonna start tearing it down. And I want to make a few, I'm gonna call this an upgrade series. All right, so this primary cover is ready to come off. So don't forget to pick up a primary gasket and a new derby cover gasket. Okay, so for this to come loose, we have to actually loosen these head pipes. So one step that I obviously forgot was to disconnect the O2 sensors. The O2 sensors are back here. They're coated black and gray. Black is for the rear cylinder. Gray is for the front. Now, there might be some zip ties on here that you need to cut off. These have already been cut off on mine, but there are holders here for it as well. Now we can get this cover off, and you can see the residual the left over from this oil pressure sensor, or oil pressure switch leaking onto the cam chest. If some of these weren't acting weird, what I would do <clears throat> normally is use the gun and loosen these up. Wait for it. You're gonna to wanna to clean these threads out. It's a chaser thread just to clean it up, blow it out. <clears throat> Don't try to make any new threads, just get the crap out of them. All right, so these here are little rubber covers. They just pop off and then you have access to that bolt. So I have my key present. I'm just gonna set it here. We have the fuel pump disconnected. Now we can turn the motorcycle on. Perfect. Okay, so the last step after we purge that with the fuel pump connector disconnected now we can take this god damn i believe i was an idiot and there's a bunch of fuel in here oh yeah that's full this is the first time i've done um, a liquid cooled motorcycle like this uh, which is the oil these are the cooling lines that go into the heads so I'm not sure how this is how this clearance is gonna work here if I need to remove these lines I'm getting prepped to remove these just because I'm sure they're gonna have to come off because they're steel and they only have the one flex in the middle so these here these bolts are 3 8 and then you need to remove this hose as well Okay, so this end of the line should be free. Now the front oil cooler line should be the same process. We'll take this clamp off, pull this hose off, and get these 3 8 bolts out. Push this up and off. So now we just need to loosen these two bolts here. The O-rings sealing these. So they should just pop right off. They do sit in there a little ways. So it does take a bit to get them away from the head and it does look like we will need to remove this this motor mount okay so to get these out of here <clears throat> I unhooked these right here these I believe which are the I um, don't quote me on this I'm I think it's a knock sensor um, to get these out you need to take this connector 
push the little tab back then you can release the plug this one the injector just push and pull tuck that back on the other side we know that the gray is for the front and the black is for the rear So being that I couldn't get this out by hand, I unclipped it from here, this one. So now all the bolts are out. I can pull this up and out. You can see that the coolant lines were rubbing on here too. So this one's done. I believe I have everything that I want off uh, for power coat off. I, I haven't decided on these yet if I'm pulling these off or not.